Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back to the Ottoman World Conquest. So, this is our status. And as you can see, we have to do a lot of things. Now I'm curious, is England still uh, not allied with any serious guys? Yes, they have no good allies, and they are at war with Tidor. How many troops do they have? 101,000. And they have a force limit of 68. England is crazy. England is crazy. They really are. Let's have a look. Could we improve relations with someone with Kebab Twaagoland? Let's do it. And we have new monies. And now we are waiting for this wonderful modern bureaucracy tech that we really need. So I'm curious if we could peace out Japan right now. No, we need to conquer that fort. We could peace out Norway now, but I don't have the room for it. Almost though. I'm going to peace out Norway. We're going to take all of it. We might get a coalition, but that should be it. More Ottoman lands. Let's raise the autonomy. So the revolt risk will go away. And core it of all. There we go. So, Louisiana is going alright here. All of Louisiana should go to them. And then we should try to uh, defeat England. At least take all of English, Brazil and Argentina. Yeah. We could also take their land here in their... In their main region to weaken them but we should not do that because when England gets weakened these nations will uh, revolt and we get Brazil and we get Argentina and we get Peru and these nations will not be colonial nations anymore and then it's uh, more expensive to take those lands so I should uh, help England to stay alive and just take their colonies in the first war Congo just occupied a Portuguese colony in Florida. <laughs> yeah, sometimes weird things happen in this game. That is true. Go to that fort, please. You go there too. You could take care... No, you could take care of this and then you go there. And you go there straight away. This is an event by the overextension, I think. Not, not sure. So I'm not clicking on it. Could we eat you? You are allied with Portugal and California. Allied with California. So this way we could strike Portugal. And then we can take, let's see, do they have some colonies somewhere? I think Portugal is out of Asia. Yeah, they are. I took all of their Asian colonies last time. So if we are going to strike like this, then Portugal will be a non co belligerent in the war. And then we can feed this to Leon. And integrate it. And we can take their colonies. So yeah, that's a good war to do. Very easy one. I am going to take this army away. Because it's not safe here. We are going to strike 
Navagio here. I mean uh, Apache. You could also eat Navagio maybe. No. Then I attack Portugal himself. When you when you attack a protectorate, you attack the nation itself already. We should not do that. Because then they can call in France. We should not do that. Hey, Japan wants peace. Let's have a look. Oh, we have some rebels. Let's see. <laughs> the natives encountering our colonies. <sighs> okay, this is really annoying. I have to send a ship over to deal with that. So let's do that and let's delete the ship here. Hi again, what the fuck is this? Ottomans everywhere. Can you zoom out the map? Yes, please. I will do that for you. I have all of this right now, but we have to hurry. Still trying to conquer the world. It's going to be very hard. Really. Really, really hard. Come on guys, get that Canada out. I think we can, no, no, we can still not do it. Come on. Uh, you could uh, watch my uh, YouTube videos. So you can see how I did it. But yeah, now you, know, you, now you know part 80 or something, or 90. I don't know where I am right now. But yeah. Then you can see how my strategy, what I did. It's, an, it's a known strategy. There are more, more people are using it. Okay, let's take that one and that one. And you are going to... Here. Why are you not... Doing what I told you to do. Yeah, I have uh, I have client states right now, so I will not have to deal with that anymore. But I need to peace out before I create a client. I can create a client state. I think. Let's check this one more time. Yeah, we need to be at peace. Otherwise, we have a big problem. Then our nation is going to revolt. We need to be at peace. We'll drag an assisting 50 or something for the whole world, yeah. That is true. Maybe there are even more people who did it faster. Yeah, the thing is we need to... Uh, Peace out all these other wars before we can go on the next one. So we have to wait with uh, this one, the Apache. And we should see. We could stand here. Uh, oh, yeah, our army was going to Portugal. Mm -hmm. How much war score are you to eat? 97, so we can fully annex Portugal if you want. That is going to be fantastic. Oh no, we cannot do it because we are making them a Cobra Regent. Never mind.
Okay, you beat the rebels. Um, let's see. Yep, yeah, we have to peace out with this war first. This is priority. Come on. Let me peace out the nation of Canada. California will join the war as well, so let's send our army there. No, you have to stay here. No, you go here. This is more important. Okay, China Wear, that's really nice. Uh, hey, Runway, welcome back. And sit pretty your face, how much army do you have? I have an income of uh, 928. I have 1,028 provinces and 932 non-overseas scores. I have... I'm making this of trade. Um, oh, my game is going to crash. Please, no, don't do it. I have 820,000 regiments. I can get 1,081. And these are my colonial nations and uh, protectorates, that kind of stuff. Right now. But yeah, the, the problem is, is that my armies are not fighting with good morale, so... We need to get more morale in. Wanna play Rocket League after the stream? Um, Maybe. Maybe I will. Are you good at it? I'm very bad at Rocket League. <laughs> I'm very, very bad. But it's very funny. I only play that game for fun, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. I really want to peace out t Japan, but I cannot do it. Oh, you just bought it. Oh, that's really nice. Then you never played the game before. That is lovely. Can we attack you? You are allied with the Comanche. I think this is Louisiana region. Let's have a look. Yeah. You go that way. Nice, and that's weird for EU4, because I see you have same problem. After 1700, when you want to see your trade, your game is lagging as hell. Yeah. Steam Autumn Sale just start. Okay. I want to get the expansions for Victoria 2. Are they in the sale? Do you know that? That's actually the only thing I want to buy. That's nice. You know. Okay, we have to wait for the seeds here and then we can peace out Canada. Oh. Just be. Come on, get that seeds, really. How the hell? England, do you still like me? Actually, they don't care what I did. <laughs> really? Really? I hope this will get uh, unexiled when I come in my colonial nation's territory. Let's hope so. He could eat Kedo as well. Yeah, there we go. That is what I need. Come on. Miami is protect protector of France, so we could eat them when we attack France. That's alright. How is Europe going? Hungary. 
We could eat Hungary. Decline of the Spice. I don't know what that is exactly. Heart of Darkness is minus 66%. The other ones are too cheap to matter. Okay. Nice. Then I can finally buy it. Because last time I uh, became a Steam Key from a loyal viewer of mine. Mercury. He gave me a uh, free CD Key for Victoria 2. I was really happy when I get it. And I did a uh, giveaway. Some one of my uh, viewers became one of my uh, other keys. And now that one has Victoria 2 as well. Um, Louisiana wants to peace out. No. I need to peace out Canada first. We have it. What is the war score? 59. You know what? I don't care. I want to peace out. I wanted to peace out. Now I can peace out Louisiana. Then we can peace out... This nation here. Get all DLCs for Victoria for 30 years, but mostly our unit packs, so they don't really matter. Yeah, I don't want to buy these packs. I only want to buy the two... Uh, Major DLCs, and that's it. Don't be so unlucky. We need those months to do other things. We really need them. We really need it. I forgot about that one. What is your attack? 22. We have 26. You go all here. Where did my boat go? Oh yeah, you are just uh, sitting here to wait. No, you go here. And I will op optimize your army. We need us some more transport to be able to... Transport all these troops over in one go. There we go. Could we eat the fox here? Let's see. They are allied with Holland. That is interesting. We could get ourselves a presence here. But that will hurt the HRE. Yeah. We should not do that. We still have Austria as an ally actually. And I would love to keep them for a bit. To help me against France or something. Or Scandinavia or Poland. Let's get a marriage with them for now. I want to keep them happy. Oh, come on. 84%. Really? Come on. Win. Yeah. Good. Oh, wait. We are at war with... Oh. We have to move to this one first before we can peace out. I think. We cannot take that one. No. How many leaders do we have? Yeah, we have two out of three. So we could take another one. We could take another leader. Mm, let's wait until we have 40 army tradition. Then we get a better one. And 39. My diplomats are ready. Let's improve relations with you. And maybe with you as well. Yeah. You will get annexed after Leon. Which ideas do you take for traditional world conquests with the, with the Ottomans and which order? I started with humanist, but uh, I should not do that again. I should start with religious. I became orthodox at the start, 
go religious so you can uh, declare war on everyone. After that one, maybe quantity. But it seems that you still need the manpower. Then humanist. Then diplomatic. And as fifth idea, I should really go for a military one again. Because uh, in the mid game and late game, you have so much trouble with fighting uh, France. My armies were getting stack wiped. 50k armies were getting stack wiped because I did not have the fight power. If I should do it over again, I would uh, take another. Other. Uh, how do you call it? I don't know. <laughs> An other order. Ooh. You go to Leonese, Louisiana. I hope this is uh, part of the region. Let's see. Colonial region. It is. Nice. It is. Not sure why you changed to Orthodox. Sunni is such a good religion in terms of moral and all over low revolt risk. Yeah, but I got a personal union. As you become Sunni, you cannot get personal unions and you cannot use your Deus Fault against everyone around you. And Orthodox is an overpowered religion. I will go Orthodox again if I have to do it. I would really do it. Come on, siege it. I need to piece out all these nations. I can piece you out. I cannot take your land, but I can take all your money. And your war reparations, so bye. Now I can piece you out. did your personal union? Uh, Leon. I have a personal union with Leon and almost with Poland. I was just too late with Poland. We are the Valois. We got the French dynasty. So if the king of France uh, dies without a uh, strong claim, then we are going to claim the French's throne and we have them in a personal union. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. That would be very overpowered. Okay, um, I need a diplomat, so we have to wait again. Then we can finally peace out Japan. It reminds me of making more armies against Ming. This is an optimized army, that's good. You have trouble. If the force limit. I have a 20. Uh, like this. And this one as well. It's 1741 already. Shit. Oh man, can we do it or not? Oh my god, do I have to do it like this again? Oh, I need to siege all these things. 
<sighs> you go here. This will go to Leonese, Louisiana as well. And then these armies will go to uh, fight Brazil. So this navy come here. Hello, nuclear artist. What happened here? Take the Bahamas. Where are the Bahamas? Oh. Portugal. Portugal has one island there. I think we could get some rebellions here. Yeah, they will spawn, so I need to set an army in New Dutchland. I have no other choice. Let's send an army there. Um. Well. Let's take this army there, that way. Give you the transports that are recruited already. We can finally peace out. Finally. Uh, nuclear Leon is my uh, vessel. My personal union. Okay, there we go. Take all your money. Oh, you don't have that many money. Okay. Let's add it to the empire as well. And now we can piece out uh, Japan. When we have a diplomat. This will be the rebel stack army in the USA here. And we will have to keep an army here as well. Send all the armies here and then we will see what we are going to bring to Brazil and what will stay here. I think we can take the next Diplo tech. Let's take it. And we could eat Kedo. I should not declare. I almost declared war again. <laughs> okay, you have 27,000 armies here. That's actually a lot. You know what? This army will go to Brazil. This will be the army that fights uh, English, Brazil and Argentina. Go here. Dead boats. Go here.
Okay, give me my diplomat, guys. I want to make my colonial na my uh, not colonial nation duchy. Client state. And I need a name for it, guys. How are we going to call our Japanese client state? How are we going to call it? Call it these nuts. Why I cannot make it? Why not? What? Why I cannot make a client state here? I don't get it. Normally I could do that and now I cannot do it anymore. Why not? This could go very wrong. Why I cannot make a client state? I could do it without a core here. I created this client state without a core. What the hell? Can I release a nation? I should uh, be able to release Japan, but apparently I cannot. What the hell? This is so bad that you have to scroll through these nations so you can see where Japan is. Holy shit. Where are you? I cannot release Japan, they are on the map, shit. Well, that means we will have a very big problem. We will get uh, very nasty events because we have 241 overextension. Uh, this will be the end of the episode. And let's see how this will go in the next one. Bye bye.